somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn folks today we're taking a look at the boys we're on season two this is episode four nothing like it in the whole world and or nothing like it in the world sorry got to get it right but uh it would seem we have a new number one villain uh that would be stormfront trying to take the role from homelander as the biggest asshole yeah, so no i guess we're gonna see how that goes well I don't know how they can outdo that whale scene in this episode, but I'm ready, willing, and able to find out if they can. Uh, I was so shocked. I liked Stormfront. I was yeah. like, oh, she's edgy, she's outspoken, and she's just taking out people left and right, and then throws it in Homelander's face. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens in this episode. This is going to get interesting. So, All right, without further ado, let's go! go. Steve and I had been dating for two years when he asked me to marry him. But the Marriott did keep our deposit on the banquet room. So. Wow. Uh, I'm confused as to what that was about. Yeah, where that scene came from. Oh. Not looking too good, Frenchy. Tales are still emerging about the soup terrace apartment building left 59. Oh my god. 59? 100 injured. Inji Miyashiro, Japanese expatriate living in the Philippines, paged through the apartment building, killing. It wasn't your fault. Oh, yeah. 59. Over 100 injured, too, yet. Oh, I'm not oh. sure that's what she was going for. It was just... What are you doing, Francie? Well, he's Jeez. a little hopped up on some stuff right now. Let's show Vought what they have to do. Tomorrow morning, Vought Square. Be your own hero. Oh, organizing a protest. Is he just popping in to see a... Uh... Oh, somebody's imagination. She's got a glass of milk. milk. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's always doing the tongue thing. <laughs> Imagine if they after them on set and, like, oh, made gosh. it something gross. Mm. I'm, like, making it awkward. Uh. I ever tell you about my recurring dream? I'm on stage alone at Carnegie Hall. Audience is made up of every poor bastard who got killed by the superheroes. What are they doing? Nothing. They're all just watching me, waiting for me to do something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Libby, you mentioned her before. Second tier soup, active in the 70s. She was all over Susan's private server. Get Marvin to talk to this Liberty. They showed us that ad. They That's... did. Right. Holy shit, oh, look at that building. Jesus, yeah. look at the building. I found Becca. It's my fault you stopped searching for her. It'd be good to have one less person in that audience staring at me. Jeez. And how much shit is he supposed to take? Everybody respects him. <laughs> I just love how he's always in his suit. <laughs> he's never not in his suit. What, now that that medial... Is the face of the seven? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it's very hard not to take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> you nurtured them, you watered and fed them. That's what I did. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <gasps> change back. Change back. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, so yeah, that's yeah. what's oh going on. Oh my god. god. What the? Oh Come man. On. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay. Come on, little boy. Come <laughs> on. Oh my god. Change back. How is it possible that you're dumber than you look? Weird. <laughs> you're in charge now. Muscle tough. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to be in <laughs> You find this liberty slack. <laughs> <laughs> Through a few hoops for the colonel. She'll help you the same way she helped me. She always liked you more anyway. What about Frenchie? He's been high as a kite for days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Kid's a weeper. Don't want him to get snot all over me jacket. A crowbar. A crowbar. <laughs> oh, 
Boy, I don't like Butcher's chances here. Still working on the dollhouse, too. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. <laughs> gonna walk around in the outfits all, <laughs> all day. day. Yeah. You think you'd like at least get a robe or something for comfort? God, he's so good at making everything awkward. He is. No more lies. Oh! Yeah. <gasps> oh. I'm not a murderer and I won't straight up execute someone, then go ahead. So tell me, am I lying? Oh. <laughs> oh, enjoy. This guy's <laughs> like, just... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just wanted to do something. Do you mean William Butcher? That would be a yes. <laughs> we lost them in these storm tunnels. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. Hey. Oh, you're so bored. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. That was all me. It's cool, really. <laughs> I could have killed you. But you didn't. Uh, you didn't? No. <laughs> Do you just mind, you mind if we just don't talk? Okay. Yeah. So we got the comp envy out there oh. and we we're still kicking, so. Oh, I thought Homelander was gonna come out of the bushes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, just give me one second. Um, hey, I'm at a rally? Like the one in North Carolina? <laughs> Okay, okay. All right. Um, I have to go. What's going on? Can I call you later? Come on. Come on. I mean, give her something. Are you just gonna hang out here? I just, I can't go back to the tower right now. I can't do this anymore. Are you fucking insane? She can't come with us, Huey. She's chipped. Oh, she's in my shape. You mean you need this? <laughs> just, mm -hmm. just, yeah, well, come on. Help a brother out. Come on. Right, I mean, if, we're, come on. if we're being honest here. How you doing? It's the A-Train, baby. Oh, no. Oh, it's his nemesis. Oh, 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 oh no. Ah! <laughs> Bullshit, the Ashley. Shockwave is just here to talk about for tots. I swear to God. It's new fitness outreach for toddlers. <laughs> Apparently, they're getting obese. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. I thought we were going to have a strategy meeting. Hey, train, you're out. Oh. Out of seven. You did great, but we're going in a different direction, so. Future endeavors. Oh, ouch. I doubt you're even cracking the top 20 anymore, and that makes a seven. Me. Look. <laughs> Me? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll always be friends. No. <laughs> Cetera. So friends. Et cetera. <laughs> At a boy. Oh my god. So nonchalant uh, with it. Oh, is this where we get him to turn on bot? Oh. Well, is this maybe. where he goes and joins up with Huey, or is this where he wants to take massive revenge yeah, on Huey and Starlight? Does anyone mind if I put on some music? Well, you got the rights to. Oh, God. It's her. <laughs> it's, it's her, her song. <laughs> I'm waiting for Mother's Milk to just start going. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Trip, okay? <laughs> Y'all ain't on no date either. I thought he, oh, I, come on, I thought he was gonna, I so thought he was gonna join it. Nah, uh, that's not, <laughs> not that's not his uh, thing. What a buzzkill, man! Oh, He's all the man. man's all business. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's, maybe he's a big Dukes of Hazard fan. They were alive like 6,000 years ago, and they were found in this tomb in Italy. These two skeletons with their. <laughs> Who are they talking to? Uh, yeah, just, I, I wonder if the interested. is the soup that they're looking for maybe a therapist or something now, or they're yeah, all or, they're, uh, or, or maybe they're talking to the one that Deep talked to. Uh, could be. No, I think Liberty, the soup that they're looking for, might uh, be a therapist now. Yeah, that makes sense. You can make amends for all the people you hurt. I think they know the drill though by now. 
And in our continuing coverage of the recent revelations over compounds all over the Middle East have taken to the streets demanding to the right back. Oh, they're demanding compound VB share yeah. so that everybody can have their own soups. Mm. You two want a room? <laughs> you and the donut. Oh, I'm sorry. So my dad, um, he'd take me to Duncan on the sly and he would get me a chocolate cream filled donut and he'd ask me to tell him about my day. Mom never did that. Mm -mm. Baskin Robbins, every Sunday after church. My pops, he'd always ask for samples. 31 flavors, and that man would taste. <laughs> Get your fing ice cream and bounce. <laughs> Hell nah. He would stand right there and order another sample. Be sitting there wishing the floor would just open up and just swallow. <laughs> to fathers and sugar. Well, they had a nice little connection. Yeah. Got to use wet wipes. There you go. You just carry these around with you? Damn right. Oh! oh Jesus. I thought that van was pulled out a little far. No, 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 no. This is not the time to be a soup, okay? We're low key, not with us here. Hey, okay, that guy, he's calling 911. We'll be okay. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, I mean, no. Annie can't really do anything anyway. Well, she said, I thought she already told Vat though she was coming down here, though. She was on her way down to her. Cousins. Yeah, but they don't want other people to see her and draw attention. Yeah, she goes. Especially with those guys. Fair enough. Somebody yeah. takes a picture. Any place around here without a million bloody cameras. Oh, I've been waiting for this for yeah, this since day one. The big reunion. It's a good thing he don't know your tells. I wasn't bluffing. No. I'm gonna get you the fuck out of here. No, no, Ryan, Ryan can't climb that fence. I, I don't think I that don't was Butcher's yeah. plan. I saw his, his eyes glow. I thought he might. Don't you got no powers? Yes, but I'm not. I'm not raising him like that. Uh... Hey, there's a garbage truck. It comes by the house every morning at eleven. You sure it's not? Compact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he would hate to be in that. I'm glad they at least brought that up. Yeah. It's like old school garbage mm -hmm. trucks mm -hmm. always had compactors yep. in them. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Whoops. Do they not anymore? Well, apparently these don't. Maybe some do, some don't. Wait here. I'll be back. Okay. Butcher is definitely less than excited about Ryan. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he realized that was going to be a part of the deal, but he yeah. really should because even though it's not his well, son, it's still she's her son. She's yep. not going to leave her son. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess I'll be uh, bunking with MM. Naturally. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> ah, he's a snorer. Well, he's because he's sleeping on his back. He needs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who hasn't been, been there, there folks yep. who hasn't been there i snore really bad so <laughs> vending machine crisis what should i got almond joy almond again almond joy again you know when he changes lanes he taps the steering wheel three times he yeah, stirs the coffee mm -hmm. three times you haven't noticed any of this no, but wow, you're right. <laughs> Homelander is waiting around every corner to kill me. Yeah, that's a lot of stress. Mm. It's like living with a loaded gun in my face. Do you feel that way now? God, I, I feel on edge like I never know when Homelander's oh, going to oh, show up. Oh, well, it's party time. Oh. Well, be careful. Homelander better not show up right now. Yeah. That'd be bad for everyone involved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By everyone involved, I mean those two. Yeah. <laughs> be, just go easy with them eyes. <laughs> Love is a leap of faith. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> was obsessed with Edge here. <laughs> yeah, I know. So he asked me to get one of these with him. Oh, oh man, <laughs> no, it's not even good. I fucking hate Ed Sheeran. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Poor Ed. <laughs> okay. 
Aren't they going to be suspicious? She's driving around in the middle of the night, though. She she probably showed the. I mean, even with the, the badge, it's like you just feel like nobody's ever safe in this show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't like that shot. Mm -mm. Okay. okay, never mind. Oh, God, they showed the way they showed the road. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been here for, then, eh? She probably doesn't even Since know. Since I anymore. gave birth. Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe she was going to say, I don't even remember, you know. He's sweet. Butcher keeps giving that look. So kind. Oh, he's not really a big fan of soups. But oh, I think that he's pretty. No, I don't. I don't hate kids. I'm a very good role model, am I? Oh. Started a private security company. <laughs> yeah, both. Well, I thought he killed you. So, yeah. I've been on a bit of a war path. <laughs> a bit? <laughs> a bit. <laughs> oh, busted. Yeah. That is a supervillain threat real? 100%. Very real. But the seven will protect you. That's right. Right. Oh. <laughs> Maria Menounos. He always tells the truth. And we're grateful every day. On a related she subject. She always tells the truth. Oh, my God. Take the seven, for example. We've got A Train. He's a black man. We go. No, he don't anymore. He, um, but he doesn't identify with any race, really, so. <laughs> They're covered. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> They're covered. The gay hero. Oh, we have a. Really? Oh. A national TV. He's gonna bust her out. Mm -hmm. Scoop for you, Maria. <laughs> Maeve here is a strong, proud lesbian with a beautiful girlfriend, Elena. Just all of her secrets. Oh, oh she, she, she that Hispanic. No. Yeah. What? Well, best of luck to you both. She getting the boot too. You two to be happy. Uh yeah. And in love. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> Maeve, I am really, really happy. God, that, God, that face. Oh, and then he this does. guy tells a story <laughs> with his expressions like nobody else. Nobody. He's so damn good. And have you seen bots saving America ads? Oh. Bot wants you to feel calm and safe so that you continue to buy their shitty toys and drinking their shitty energy drinks and going to see their <laughs> <laughs> It's like I want my MTV, I yeah. want my Compound V. We're going to sit around and cross our fingers that Homelander is going to save us when he's not on Maria. Uh... Or will we demand that Bot do better? She really going to do it? Lord, Lord, please, you will not survive. Oh, Frenchie with the save. Let's go home. Oh. oh, wow, here we go. Hello? I'm Huey. Is is there by any chance a woman living here who used to go by the name of Liberty? No. Uh, that means a uh, yes, clearly. That's it. We just want to learn what we can about Liberty. That's it. Then y'all are just some damn fools. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's right. been 48 years. What good is dredging all this stuff up now going to do? Honestly, we don't know. We still need to hear it. Did it say 48? Mm -hmm. I was 11 years old. The hell? Sleep in the back seat of my folks' Ford. My brother Myron, he was driving. What's the trouble, man? Get out! Hey, your car was involved in a robbery tonight. No, it wasn't. I, I had it. I don't know nothing about any robbery. Just <laughs> confess. Oh, lady, ain't you supposed to be a hero? I am a hero for killing a black piece of shit like you. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, okay. I could have done without that. Oh, when that man from Vaught, when he showed up and he offered us that money, we just took it. Just like they did to Huey. Thousand dollars. Oh, that is what my brother's life was worth. But y'all have got to promise me that you won't tell anybody that I sat here and I talked to you. That woman 
Liberty, nobody's seen her since 1979. I mean, she's probably dead by now. Oh, she Don't tell me that's she's Stormfront. She's right a here. therapist. That's what all the therapy sessions are. That's Liberty. <gasps> oh, oh, my it God! Is her! She never aged. She hasn't been aging. It's just a little girl, and she said it was raining, so she could be wrong. She seemed pretty certain. Yeah, but if Liberty and Stormfront are the same person. Oh, oh my God. But who knows what Compound V yes, can do? I mean, the Compound maybe v. she doesn't age like a regular person. It's the same Stormfront that just became America's favorite two fisted sister. That's why she wants Homelander's job. Because she used to be Liberty. Oh she my God. She used to be God. the head of it. Yep. Oh, the memes are getting to him. Oh. <laughs> <That one. laughs> Who the f do you think you are? Oh boy. Trying to undermine me, steal my team. I think that phone is on right now. Uh. Me! I still score higher on every demo that counts. 18 to 34. <laughs> <laughs> I clearly pushed you a little far, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help. By taking what's mine? Let me tell you something right now. I built this team from the ground up and there is no f***ing way that Anyone. You spent $273 million on that Saving America bullshit. Five guys on laptops churning out memes. I practically pay them with Arby's gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you probably won't believe this. I think that you are the best of us. Oh, boy. She's well, doing man. his game, walking around. Mm -hmm. Thing we should be. You just need a look at his face. face. You know, change with the times. God knows I did. Well, well, here we go. I don't need help connecting with my audience. Okay, well, just know I'm always here. Door is always open for anything. Wow, uh, I'm surprised he backed off like that. Yeah. You're light. Where's the kid? Oh, shit. What happened? I'm, I'm not leaving. What are you talking about? Of course you are. Grab the kid and let's go. You don't really want Ryan to come with us. Of course I do. I said I'd take him, didn't I? I wanted to believe you. Believe me. Now, come on. we got to get a shift on. Listen, if the three of us leave, you're going to find a way to get rid of him. I know it. it wait, I know you better than anybody, and I saw it in your face last night. Mm, we all did. He's a billion-dollar piece of foreign property. They are not going to let him go. Becca, you and me, we got a chance. Yeah, it's not just Can't that easy. This, That's dude. just not easy for her. Just not that easy for her. Then we have Homelander all over again. Then there's two holes in this world. We could disappear, all right? Start again. Start a new family. I have a son. He's a fucking suit freak. Oh, oh. Whoa, bro. Fix. I'm not leaving without you. You have to go, please. Every guard in this goddamn place is going to be here in 60 seconds. You have to go. Please. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And now what's he supposed to do? This has been his life for the last mm -hmm. decade. It's mm -hmm. all it's been is trying now, to get her now back. Now what? Well, get revenge. And oh, my God. Now he's going to go back yeah. Homelander. Yeah. Oh, shit. What's uh, making it obvious? Small token of the trip. You know, John Wayne Gacy used to give those out to kids when he was a birthday clown. Jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome segue. It was fun until... Citizen Starlight mm. poster. Horrible. Yeah. What can I say? It's my specialty. Mm -hmm. Not in public. Not in public. We can't do that again. No. No, no, no. no. Why, though? <laughs> this, is, this is good. But that's just it. I mean, we can't afford to feel good or to feel safe or to let our guard down. You can't go through this on your own. We're all alone. Mm. Things are too, like, normal and comfortable right now. <sighs> I am on edge. Something's going to happen. Uh, Something's happening. I think Homelander's too busy with Stormfront to even worry about Starlight right now. I mean, he is obsessed with Stormfront.
Okay, that whole scene, I was like, uh, major, major, like, yeah, on edge, because I'm like, there's no way they're just in public, and nothing's gonna happen. I believe the secret to a great relationship is to be willing okay, to so, do anything for your man. So who are they talking to? Yeah, what is this? I'm a feminist, but I'm also very sexual. Uh, oh my god. And I don't see that as contradictory. He's interviewing them for the church. Thank you for coming in, Gianna. <laughs> really great. Uh -oh. So great. <laughs> <laughs> her, Gianna, choose her. I mean, she's the one, no question. No, she isn't. Wait, what? She was like, hands down the winner. It was not even a contest. It's Cassandra. Cassandra? The one, the one with the hair and the... <laughs> Hugging each other's story? Yes, that's your wife. Oh, oh they're picking out a wife yeah. for him? For this weird church? You do. And you're choosing Cassandra. Congratulations. I mean, Gianna. He's lovely. She's lovely. She's a valued member of the collective. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. It's about rehabilitating your image and getting you back. Ah, okay. That is what you want, isn't it? Get him married, show he's got some stability, and he's changed. It's oh, all a work. Weird shit again. Oh. Well, you can tell he's even creeped out by it. See, I don't think he thinks it's going to work this time. There you are. Oh, God. This, uh. this makes me... <laughs> he's got the milk again. Uh, I thought it... <laughs> the milk. Oh, God. I can't. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah, it is. The milk. The, the, yeah. No. He's going to do the weird tongue thing again. Oh, I missed you. Are you thirsty? Oh, God. Uh, he's going to do this it. Isn't gonna it's go. not going to work, though. He's pissed. Are you okay? Would you like me to be someone else? I can be whoever you want. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> little Heisman there. <laughs> I don't need anyone. So but myself. That's how it's been his whole life. Come on! Oh! The plot thickens. Oh, what is this? Is that, is, that, is that gonna work for him? Like what you see? <laughs> See how hot you are? Hmm? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> His voice. What? His delivery. This. <laughs> oh my god. How much? Okay. Yep. That's got a lot weirder. Yeah. I'm gonna suck you. So no. <laughs> You're gonna look in your own eyes when you come. Oh. <laughs> it's not even gay if it's with yourself, right? <laughs> Anthony Starr, jeez. A show. <laughs> My special man. I don't even know what <laughs> oh face to make, what to do right now. Everybody loves you. <laughs> Everybody. Their love, it's your. <laughs> he's still got the earrings in. <laughs> he's gonna kill him. I'm oh, he's gonna like... kill him so he can't do this anymore. If he 86's the doppelganger, then he can't pretend <laughs> anymore. Then he has to deal with reality. Uh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. First, I thought he was gonna do a sub zero. Yeah, he's gonna 86 him, then he can't do this anymore. I don't need everyone to love me. Because this is all fake love, right? Yeah. Like, it's fake. I don't Ooh. need you. Oh, oh yeah. You yeah. That's. It served as somebody who could always provide him what he needed. Yep, and now we. Now he's got to go deal with it. Oh, oh, oh come my on. God. What a finish. What a weird, weird. Oh, it's like for a while you're like, oh, is he, is he going to, 
Is that his thing? Is he going to be into it? That's you know? Nice. Wow. Unbelievable. What an episode, wow, guys. Yeah, they really... You know, they really made back. it uncomfortable yeah. that one, didn't they? Well, they went back and forth with that, though. Yeah, Holy I mean, crap, because I, I was thinking like you, that maybe he loved him some him. Yeah, you know, but... Well, the old Terrell Owens. <laughs> I love me some me. How, how dare you associate Terrell <laughs> Owens with anything that just happened? What did that poor man ever do to you? Unbelievable answer. Uh... Well, we did have a lot of partying in this episode, uh, more than I thought we'd get out of the boys in one episode, but a lot of tension in this episode. Now, we didn't really have the gore that we were accustomed to or so much of the violence from previous episodes, but just just so much tension all the time, and Anthony Starr just continues to absolutely destroy this role. It is he is so damn good, and Oak, you nailed it. I don't know if it made the cut, but the story that you I mean you see it with some actors, right? They can they can just tell a whole story just with their face, and I mean that guy can do a thousand page novel without even trying. It's it's incredible. He's so good in this show. Uh, you know, we saw the tension between Becca and Butcher with Ryan in the middle, and. Look, you can look at it from both sides. Yeah. You can look at it from Becca's side of obviously that's her son. She's been caring for him. She can't leave without him and just abandon the kid because she knows what he'll turn into if left to just be raised by Vaught and, and to not have or even caring, just Yeah, and to ha not have that caring mother to to kind of take care of him and to help guide him. On the other side of the coin butcher is just a constant rem or ryan to butcher rather is just a constant reminder of what homelander did to him how he completely ruined his ruined butcher's life sent him on this this war path for the last 10 years of thinking his wife was gone trying to get revenge living the life that he's in stuck the way he is so i mean it's that's a real complex thing and i you know when they first were in the car and, and becca was talking about you know getting out with ryan you you know carl urban did a just a yeah. tremendous job Job of selling that with his face. I mean, you knew exactly what yeah, he was, was feeling. Not. And I mean, just a huge shout out to the actors on this episode for, you know, for everything they didn't say and, and for all the facial expressions that, that they have to do. I mean, just totally blew me away. Um, it just there's nothing like this show on TV. It's not even close. And this episode was incredible. Uh, I want, I, I think that. Starlight doesn't necessarily have to be quite so afraid of Homelander, you know, popping up behind the bushes like he's Michael Myers or something because Homelander's so obsessed with Stormfront right now, just coming in and just sweeping all his popularity. Like she said, with four guys on laptops making memes <laughs> versus him spending $273 million on an outreach campaign. So to me, that's his like, that's his tunnel vision focus. I mean, I think if you asked him who Huey was at this point, I don't even think he'd know. He's so obsessed with Stormfront. And what a twist of her being, you know, 70, 80, however many years old she is. And she's been around forever. So that I, none of us saw that coming. Well, this, well, I did. I said, I think it's Stormfront. And boom, lo and behold, I was right. Wow. But the thing is with her is like, she must have obviously been the leader and then did that. They spent the money to try and hide it and yep. sweep it under she the rug. She just vanished. And then she yep. vanished. And now it's her turn turn to try and come back and take things over and the thing with me was with homelander through this whole episode he's sick of the lies he's sick of <laughs> sick of you know everyone lying to him so he called out starlight he called out queen maybe put her on the spot yeah. and maria menunos because once he started getting the hardball questions which he even joked about saying yep. he right away threw may under the bus saying hey we have a proud lesbian right on the team like and you know obviously she's missed because of that but she's got to smile and go with it yeah. And then she's start, she lied right to him again. He's like, I'm sick of the lies. Yep. And he just knew he was going to do something wrong. And then he even struck a little fear into Stormfront with the with the laser eyes. Yeah. And then what a tease thinking that Madeline maybe, I thought maybe she had some special healing ability Oh, I or just something. thought it was a dream sequence. We, you thought it was a dream. Yeah. I thought possibly it was healing. But then once uh, we saw Doppelganger like come to life, <laughs> we're like, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. But so that, bizarre. But it was such a... It was such a great twist, especially at the end when he tried going as Homelander to Homelander, saying, you know, is this what you want? You want yourself. Yeah. And, you know, it turned out, no, he's 
he moved to that point. He reached that breaking point where he doesn't need anybody. So I'm, we were always yeah. tense around him before. I think we're going to be a little more tense around yeah. him even more, yeah. if that's possible. Yeah, this was uh, an, an interesting episode. <laughs> I mean, let's talk about our main, I'll say our main character. I mean, maybe Homelander, but let's be honest. Butcher is kind of, yep. I'm going to call him our main character for right now. This Flipping guy has the spent the last decade of his life trying to get revenge on Homelander for what he thought was um, Becca's death. Mm -hmm. Now, we, you know, fast forward. There's the sun. There's everything. He thinks he's gonna, you know, kind of, you know, whisk her away and, and try to hide and be safe, which that's not happening. But now I think he has, you know, reason to just go back at Homelander again. You know, Becca clarified, you know, what we had brought up before. So in, you know, they they made it with previous security cameras um, seem as if it was it was forced, right? Mm -hmm. But we didn't like. He thought she was dead, you know, coming out of the, the the security camera with her coming out of the room. It looked uncomfortable, but it was just like, hey, we hope we don't get busted. So, you know, now we learned that that's what happened, mm -hmm. hundred percent sure. And now, the fact that like he can't be with her i think he's gonna go after homelander even more yeah, well, he needs a mission of some kind than before like he wants yeah. to go after homelander even more than yeah. before um because now he can't go back to that compound yeah. it's like right? now he got the like the tease of his wife being alive but oh sorry you can't yeah, have her so anyway now he has to live knowing he's yeah. alive um you know knowing that her her son ryan is incredibly pop powerful and who's to say like if her and, him and becca just wished away homelander wouldn't keep looking for her and let's say okay maybe homelander just wants to have a relationship with his son son is presumably has the same powers as homelander what if he wants to go looking for his mom i mean mm -hmm. there's so many complications there and i think butcher is going to be all in on just getting revenge yeah, on homeland he's because got nothing all else. of this everything that has happened is because of homelander everything every situation whatever and now if he can't fix things with becca he's just going to be that much mm, more yep. uh you know tuned up on on going after homelander of course homelander like you guys had brought up he's you know got his mind on everything else they axed a train or at mm. least i don't well, think he, we're i don't think we're done with a train by a long no show. no but yeah, he, with he, him. he kicked him off the team yeah well i think here's my early prediction for a train he's going to do one of two things he wants to either get huey and starlight to kind of get in good graces with homelander or he's going to go the other direction and help like, cause he's got the dirt on yeah, the seven. Just bail on. He's Vaught. gonna help. Yeah, bail on Vaught. Help. Um, you know, Huey, and and Starlight. But um, you know, if it wasn't for Starlight and Huey and and exposing the the compound V, none of this would have happened. So they did save his life. Interesting what his story arc is yeah. gonna look like. And they did save his life. And let's look. Let's be honest. He wasn't gonna quit taking the compound V. No, the no, he was not. Being the yeah. fastest was his thing, and he was gonna keep taking it and taking it and taking it. So whatever issues that he now has with his heart um, would have happened eventually. So mm -hmm. there's a kind of an, an interesting dynamic there. Um, as far as Liberty slash Stormfront, that like what what a twist, you know. And I gotta be what honest. I mean, the fact that they showed what she did in '79. Um, as answer had brought up, Vought probably said, like, look, you got to go. Yep. You're going to try to bury this. Like, you're gone. And um, now she's working her way back in as somebody else, different haircut, whatever. Who knows? Here's here's my question, though. She came in as Stillwell was still No, there. Stillwell was gone. Still, Stillwell was gone. Oh, yeah, because she, she came yeah. in the second episode or first episode of season she two. She came in yeah. while Stillwell was gone. So Remember, did uh, the new guy know that she was Liberty, or is she completely? I, no, I, I think, think I think uh, Gus Strang. I, I think Gus, Gus Strang knows everything. Gus, he, he brought saying. he brought her in. Edgar, That's what I'm rather. saying. Because Gus here, so well, here's Edgar, but I, here's, we like to call him Gus. Here's right. the thing. So Edgar is not freaked out whatsoever by Homelander. Why? Because he knows he's got somebody else. Why is Edgar got... so casual, just whatever with Homelander? Because I think maybe Liberty's got more powers than Homelander. Yeah. Now. She was like, okay, easy with the eye thing. I think she was just playing him. 
I yeah. think she's more. Like, that's yeah. all she's been doing I the whole time. Look at look, look yeah. the way she levitated herself and just flew off. Mm -hmm. And we saw how powerful she was earlier on. The way she was able to just decimate the buildings. Anything Homelander can do with his eyes, I think she can do more powerful with her hands. Mm -hmm. I yep. mean, so I, I think she's more powerful than Homelander. Obviously, she's not a, a good person. You know, she made a, a, in an earlier episode she made a racist comment, which was like I, well, all of us were kind of like, "Whoa, yeah. Yeah, hey, it was weird like, that it's thrown in." There. Uh, well, but, then, but now you know why. Yeah, and then yeah. you saw that yeah. she did and that. She made, uh, so there's that. And now, like looking back, like the building she went through and torched, it seemed like everybody in there oh, was, yeah. was people of color. Yeah. yeah. So it was like, did she purposely go through that building and just like? Oh, I'm just gonna destroy every. I mean, I'm. She didn't target the building, but once she was in there, I mean, the fact that she picked up. Like, remember when we were watching that and she picked up the dad and threw him against the wall? Yeah. And he was just a complete innocent bystander. She like, she is just a. She's a piece of shit human. <laughs> yeah. Soup. And and this is the interesting thing, you know, like this this series. I was actually talking to um with um, you know, with a friend the other day about this series, and we we're like, you know, it brings up the the very real like scenario if like what if superheroes are just lousy lousy fucking yeah. people yeah then you well, end right. up you end up just with like, villains like lousy yeah. people and you never know who's raid like look you never like know who's movie raising high school them. High. you never know what life experience they're gonna have that's gonna turn them in the wrong direction and yeah like look the, the homelander's playing the game there's collateral damage and there's stuff like that you know the airplane thing was was just horrible earlier on but he's justifying it all in the name of whatever like the two airplanes but yeah, yeah right yeah the, yeah the senator's airplane and then the passenger airplane or the commercial airplane rather um and i'm not trying to justify as what he's doing as being okay but like in his head like there's a reason it's for the a bigger goal yeah. think about how many people we can say you know you let one plane go down blame it on terrorists then we can get in the in the mil you know in the military mm -hmm. and then yeah. we can save people you know, so in his twisted head or his reasoning, again, I'm not saying it's it's no, right. But she, she's just doing she's it out just of she's hatred. just straight yeah. up evil. She's just yeah. a bad, bad human. And I think this is you know, A Train. Yeah, he makes some sketchy decisions. You know, Translucent was a little bit of a you know weirdo. It's just yeah. they have it on such levels where yeah, you have yeah. somebody who's super super bad. So this guy down yeah. here and you is bad, bad, but doesn't bad. look as yeah. bad. That guy who yeah. was you know, yeah. you know yeah. Ezekiel yeah. who was Ezekiel. a little Ezekiel. sketchy. Which, yeah. And uh, it's like, eh, you know, God yeah. loving. And now yeah. you just have you just have somebody who you know, uh, of course, Deep is just a, a you know was a creep. Now, now you just have somebody who's just an evil, evil person. And f f I think, and I could be wrong, I think she's more powerful than everybody. I don't think she's one bit worried by Homelander. I think well, when he did, she was walking I around, think, she's got I think when he did the eye thing, I think her like, whoa, I think that was just to appease mm -hmm. him yep. and, and to get him to back off a little yep. bit. And, and she, she doesn't think care. He's in control. She does yeah. not care. I, I look this the, the writing in this this series. It's just so unbelievable. Hmm. I'm so glad we got it in a series. There's no way the movie could never. No. How many sequels this? would you have had to have in this movie? Like Twenty. And you couldn't. Well, have how many you episodes have, have there been of the boys? You so couldn't far. have told yeah. the story. You could not have told the story. And look, this is. We watch a lot of superhero stuff, right? A lot of Marvel stuff, mm -hmm. a lot of DC stuff. This, I, I'm gonna be honest. To me, this is better than this story is better than all the other superhero stuff that uh, that we've watched now granted the material they get to use yeah like they mm -hmm. get to have the superheroes be the bad guys yeah, there's that freedom but uh, yeah. wow this lot of another episode that just absolutely just delivered. a banger look at that another <laughs> banger we're not even halfway through oh, i think we're just halfway through uh season two so for appleton oak that's mason quinn i'm of course the answer we'll catch you on the next one pals